killed me today. Earlier today, I realized it's been like almost a week since I worked out. And it didn't feel like a week, I thought it was just a few days. So doing one of her videos is always nice because it kind of just eases me back into it. Tonight I'm going to be taking you along with me on a night routine, a night in self-care. Last week was a bit of a busy week for me. I was out of the house a lot. And then the past two days I've been home a little bit more, but I've been working. And I came to this realization today that I had been spending all this time by myself the past couple days, but I haven't been taking time for myself, if that makes any sense. I've just been so wrapped up in work that I didn't realize that I hadn't taken some moments just for me to like chill out and to, to do certain things that make me feel really good, like working out and also reading. I haven't been reading the past few days, which is really sad. But tonight that changes. It's gonna be a me night. I hope this encourages you to take a night for yourself. First task on the agenda is to make dinner, which as you saw, I already got the potatoes in there. Um, I've been craving like a fry. And I'm also gonna have a mozzarella tomato spinach mustard mayo sandwich. I recently discovered mustard and mustard just makes everything more exciting. Even something as simple as a mozzarella sandwich. I just want it on everything. <laughs> Cue the cooking montage. Oh geez, that was literally perfect timing. Oh no, I just need to flip these, Never mind, they're not done. Oh man, well, this is why I prefer parchment paper. Look at this bun from Cobb's Bread. I don't think I've ever seen a sexier bun. the result sandwich looks amazing the potatoes were a bit of a mess I definitely lost a few good men along the way due to some unfortunate sticking and burning to the tinfoil note to self buy parchment paper <laughs> to tidy this desk. I've been working at it all day and it is much too disorganized for my liking. So I'm gonna do a little active service for future Caitlin and get this handled. Of this book, Go Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, is that it's written in a really, I don't know, digestible language. Not language, I mean it's written in English. That's pretty easy to digest. But the way things are said and the examples that she gives, it's just very real. I mean, I'm only two chapters into it, but I can tell that this is gonna be one I just, Devour. I'm gonna read this passage from page 31 because I read it and it just felt really relevant to today's video that I'm doing. When I ask most women to name the things on their priority list, they can throw them out there with no problem. Kids, partner, work, faith, etc. The order may change, but the bullet points rarely do. You know what also rarely changes no matter how many women I talk to? Women actually putting themselves on their own priority list. You should be the very first of your priorities. Are you getting enough sleep? enough water, the right nutrition. You cannot take care of others well if you're not first taking care of yourself. I just thought that was a really good reminder. I know that I'm constantly having to remind myself to put myself at the top of my to-do list and I oftentimes am the first one to get bumped on my to-do list. But it really is important to put ourselves first and I have to be doing better at that. Like young ones with no
starting to nail the homemade iced coffee. It's so good. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. naturally. This concludes my night in self-care because I'm exhausted so I'm going to pass out. I get to fall asleep in freshly washed sheets which is very exciting and freshly shaved legs. It's a great combo. I'm gonna have one more sip of agua. Ah uh, yes, very good. I would love to know in the comments below what you would do or something that you would do in a night of self-care. You know I think when we talk about self-care there's like certain activities that always come up and I consider a lot of those things self-care for myself but I think self-care in general is any activity that you do that allows you to be a little bit more mindful makes you feel like you're hitting the pause button that being said um, yeah I would love to hear what that means for you and I think I am going to fall asleep now because I have a really early morning and I probably should have been asleep about an hour ago. I'll see you guys soon with a new video and until then, bye guys. Ooh.